there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to a new episode of Roman Cookery. Today I will show you how to make milk tagliatelle. Yes, milk pasta. Cooking is a religious gesture. In the ancient world, sacred rites consist in food offerings and the feast of men follow after the sacrifices. Up above in the Mount Olympus, the gods would come down to earth to join men because they were inebriated by the smell coming from the altars. And down on earth, every act of the human feast gives a religious character to the event, putting it in a sacred dimension. The term Migers in ancient Greece it refers to both the butcher and the cook who sacrificed the animal for the religious rites. In Greece and Rome, food had its lumens, not only Ibi and Ganymed, who were in charge of the divine feast, but also Demeter, protector of the harvest, and her daughter Persephone, goddess of the awakening of the spring fields. The great mother, or Sibeli, goddess of nature and of vital force and also the Latin Saturn, god of the Golden Age. Ceres, the equivalent of the Greek Demeter, Telus, goddess of Earth, Vertumo and Pomona, gods of fertility, the Celtic Matronae, with her baskets full of fruits, worshipped since the origins of Rome. Finishing with Adephagia, protector of the feast and of the gluttons. So come with me, come to my kitchen and I'll show you how it's made. Okay guys, <coughs> this is the trickiest part. For this recipe I'm using one kilo of flour. Make sure you bring your water to temperature, to room temperature, because we're gonna use water for this. We're not gonna be using any eggs in order to make this pasta. So let's add a little bit of water and see what happens. It's gonna be very delicate now. I don't wanna make a mess. Of any kind, so it takes a lot of patience to do this. It's a very slow process, it takes time. Don't you think that you're gonna do everything like in one second? Because that's not the way. It's a hard, hard job, guys. Hard job. Very hard job. This is a really hard job. I was sweating like a pig. I made the dough and I have another one here. I'll show you here. See? So I'll show you how to make from this one, from that stage. But it took me a long while. And you need to add the water step by step. Don't add the water all at once. I add around about three cups of water 
I'll show you later, like I'll give you later the right amount. It's freaking hard. It is very, very hard. Okay, fantastico. Oh no, bene, benissimo. So we're about to cut the pasta. This is my first attempt of making this and it looks great to me. It looks great to me already. You see, meticulous work, hard job. I was sweating like a pig, I'm telling you. It's not easy, not at all. Not at all. This is one kilo of flour, so it's a lot of flour. Fregatene della... Non sto facendo perfetto. Ah, it looks perfect to me. Yeah, perfetto questo perché. Ma questo l'hai fatto al corso tu? Cioè la, la pasta fresca sì, però non, non so più i libri che tu magari. Wow, it looks perfetto to me. Coltello lo taglia benissimo, vero? Sì. Questi qua che mi hai dato tu. Wow, this kind of knife is a great knife, it's a perfect knife, so make sure that you use something good and professional like this. See, our pasta is ready. At some point I thought I was dying because this is a freaking hard job. And I thought about my grandparents who worked a lot on making this pasta because as Italians we eat pasta every day. So I just can't imagine what they must have felt as they were cooking, I mean, they were used to it for sure, but still, it's a hard job, and I am really grateful for what they've done. And I'm grateful for our Italian culture that gives us amazing food, such as pasta, and even the Romans, who were making pasta too. So, we're making this kind of pasta, a little bit wider probably, like more like a type of lasagna, So, yeah, pasta is Italian, that's indeed, it's not Chinese, that's for sure. Usually you need to put flour, I ran out of flour, so I couldn't, um, you know, de deepen the, uh, the pasta into the flour, because that's how you do it, and that prevents the pasta from sticking, that's another, an amazing, that's an amazing technique that you can use to prevent the pasta from sticking, and I recommend you to do it actually. But we didn't have that, so unfortunately I had to do this. But it's gonna work perfectly, I know that. So. It's a hard work. You need to make sure it's uniform, it's like the same. And then you need to, you know, stretch it out. We need, you need to stretch it out. Wow, it's quite consistent, I like it. Another thing you need to remember, guys, and this is a mistake I made. The mistake I made is basically the fact that I uh, started to mix one kilo of flour, and that's a suicidal attempt, really. Don't do that, try to do 200 grams at a time or 300 grams at a time. Don't do that all together, because that's gonna be exhausting, tiring, and you're gonna sweat like a pig, too, so. I have my friend helping me out today and that's a great thing, you know. Without him I couldn't have done this. It's a hard, hard work. Wow, see, he's got red knuckles now. And I want to tell you another thing, this is great. <laughs> 
This is great for an anti-stress as well. I was very stressed out and I got really mad at the dough and I just fought with the dough and it was fantastic. So yeah, flour is essential. Make sure that you don't use all the flour you have, just keep an extra, you know, few grams of flour just to, you know, it will help you to stretch the dough. Sì, sì, certo. Can you hear him like breathing like a wild animal? It's a hard, hard work, I'm telling you, but the satisfaction is great. I haven't got a great relationship with pasta, meaning with the dough. It's freaking hard to mix it, it's really hard and it's, it takes a lot of time and hard work. Mio, bravo, vero? Now we're starting to cut the pasta. When it comes to the end, it's so much fun. Really, I plan that. I don't think Romans made it perfect, but I, I, I don't care. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. My kitchen is very imperfect. My way of cooking is very imperfect and I like it. I want to show people how a normal person can cook normal food. That's something I want to, you know, show to people and stuff. This is our last piece. The last but not the least. Cool work. Great work. Awesome work. Fantastic work. Excellent work. Vai tranquillo. Okay guys, I put one liter of milk and water as well. So we have water and milk together. It looks like a huge, gigantic cappuccino. Waiting for the giant cappuccino to boil and then we're gonna put the pasta in. Okay, the milk is doing bubbles like, and it's freaking, okay, bye bye. Fishy. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, here I am with my friend Metatron. Hello. The last ingredient, not the least, is the honey. So we're gonna put it on Thank top you, of honey. it. Thank you, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see how it tastes like. I don't know, I'm really curious. Yeah, what, what does it taste like? So let me mm, take a big bite. Enjoy. You're more like aristocratic than I am. I am, <laughs> I am more Roman than Enjoy you are in a way. <laughs> ah, mm. Hmm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. You made, a, you made a mess. Oh, I always do. Definitely not a senator, are you? <laughs> I like it. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you're very cold south. Bye-bye. Bye. Roman, we're